In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite way to attack zone defense, specifically uh, zone blitzes out of the five wide formation in Madden 21. Um, this will also be very effective in Madden 22. Saw some of this in the beta. So if you guys like this video, I would encourage you to get the full version of this offense out of the Steelers playbook. I've got it available in my true fan membership as an update video. So if you're true fans, be sure to be on the lookout for that. I've got some more stuff coming out this week from it. But uh, we've got a 45 minute breakdown on this over there for the full scheme. So if you want to get the full five wide receiver scheme that I like to run, then you can get that on my true fan membership page. Again, that's just five bucks a month. It's a Patreon. Um, you can cancel at any time, but it's just a great way to support the channel. Now, the play we're going to be going over in this video is from the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook, Gun Empty Tray Stack, and the play we're going to be using is Fade Out. This is my favorite play in the game for blitzes, and the reason why is if they if they blitz you from zone coverage, you're just going to dump this ball off to square every single time. So as soon as the ball is snapped, if you see that linebacker blitz, then you're looking and you're throwing that quick out. Now, let me show you something real quick against man blitz. So if you get a man blitz, uh, it might look something like this. Okay, watch the square receiver. You're going to see, comes in, easy pass lead inside. Every single time, this is going to work. Now, if you see man coverage, um, you don't have to just throw it at that point. Uh, what you can also do is you can just simply wait for this route to cut. And as you can see there, he's going to kind of post him up. But I absolutely love this play. It's really, really effective. Um, if you get press man, real quick. So like let's say you get a press man blitz. Um, if you just watch the square receiver, you should see. Uh, again, just that outside cut right there, and a quick 15 to 15 to 20 yards. I don't make any adjustments in this play. I literally just run it. Uh, I have another version where basically I put the out route on a crosser, like a like a, uh, a drag, and that's just something that I also like to do. But I like this really, really well, especially against zone coverage, because if you're getting a lot of zone, whether it be zone blitzes or zone coverages, they cannot stop, and this is something that I like to go to because what it does is it forces your opponent to have to literally come over here and defend this, like, this little area. I mean, he literally has to sit, like, right here to stop it. If he's over here and he doesn't go there at the snap of the ball, um, and, and the thing is, if he does go there at the snap of the ball, look at all this grass that now comes open to your tight end over the middle of the field. So if the user goes to the left, and I'm just popping right where the user left from, and that's basically how I handle um, some of the best defense in the game. So, for example, let's say you get a, a look like this, and what they're going to basically do is they're going to, you know, they're just going to try to get out there on him, um, and you get the five-man pressure. So if I get a look like that, uh, my first instinct is low ball right there every single time. And I'll tell you what, with about 90% uh, accuracy, if the middle linebacker goes to the left, that's wide open. And here's why. Because even if they're not blitzing you, even if they're not blitzing you, what you're going to get is you're going to get this look right here where we've basically got Mabel coverage. Okay, so it looks something like this. So now, again, that middle of the field gets vacated. So they go over there. Okay, now the middle of the field is vacated. And now look at what I got right there. I'm going right back in behind where the user is leaving. And that's why I like this play a lot um, against the Blitz, especially in the zone. Um, this is probably my favorite zone play in the game right now because there's so much that you can do with it. And um, another little trick with this, uh, again, because we want to force their opponent to have to go over there, something really, really simple that we can do is we can also just simply use um, a motion slant route. So what I can do is you see I'm going to take X, and I'm going to leave X on his route actually, um, I, you could also just streak him, but I'm just going to take R1 and put him on a slant and I'm going to motion him in and it's going to be kind of like a ghost route almost. And look where it gets on the zone. It just gets in such a nice little sweet spot for a quick, you know, 10 yards that you can get. You still have your snap throw read over there on the back side of the play. Now, uh, like I said, there's no zone in the game that I'm aware of that is going to be able to get out here. The one thing I would say is that you might get something like this. In the event that you get this, this is where um, this is the one thing that they might be able to do. So you're going to see here, I'm going to put that vertical hook now to the left, and I'm going to use it to the right. So to snap the ball, I'm just going to look at this. If you get that look, then you can just low ball it because the wheel route is going to pull all of the zones with it. That's one of the other reasons why I really like this play. If they don't have their zone drops on also, so let's say you're just playing someone that's just kind of running random, you know, he's just running basically stock coverages. The wheel route will pull zones and they'll actually match it. Um, but anyways, if you see a yellow zone pop out there, that's fine. Just wait for it to cut and then just low ball it in between the zones. Really simple. Uh, once I see them start to make that adjustment, 
that's where I like to start go ahead and attacking this backside. So, and what that practically looked like. So let's say they give you something like this. This is where I love, because now I got the user over here, okay? And now that I have the user over here, then what I can do with this fade out play is simply take the square receiver and now motion him inside and put him on a vertical. And you'll see this vertical will basically just inside pass lead it. And as you can see, it's a really consistent read against that. So if they start to do things like that, that's a way that you can kind of get around um, that adjustment. There's also other routes in the formation that will help, but really, really good adjustment in my opinion. Um, now lastly, let's go over Tampa 2 real quick. Now this wheel route to the left side, obviously you're still gonna be able to work your snap throw. Um, if there's no purple zone, just throw the, throw the out route and trust the out route. Um, I've put my cloud flats on uh, 30 yards so they go really deep but what you're gonna see here is this wheel route is still gonna run over the top so right and got a little bit too much pressure there but at the point at which you're at the point at which he's even he's leaving um, is a kind of a saying that I have that helps me kind of uh, you know kind of think things through here so two-man rush and if they give me a cover two look if you watch this triangle receiver again once he's even he's leaving just pass lead this to the left and as you see right here, we get a nice little rack catch over the top of that coverage. If you got Gunslinger, it's a lot easier of a throw. Uh, I recommend Gunslinger both in Madden 22 uh, and in Madden 20, uh, 21. So if you don't have it, uh, I would just recommend that you get it because it is something that's going to help you. Um, it's going to help you make throws that you wouldn't otherwise make. Now, if they do run cover four, same thing. You should still have the snap throw. But the other thing that you'll have on cover four shell is typically it'll kind of break down for you. The wheel route is also really good to the wide side of the field, but if you do get like a traditional, let me just give you like a traditional cover four look, and we're gonna give you a kind of a Mabel concept out of this, so something like that. Um, what you can do with this is I could take triangle here, and all I'm gonna do is just put him on a slant route. Okay, so I just put him on a slant route. I get this concept right here. And now if you watch that X, you see he's gonna go over the top of the cover four. Now in that particular example, the guy matched him, but that's primarily due to the fact of the coverage. Again, cover four is something, you know, we have other concepts to work against. We have a lot of concepts in this, in this formation that can kill cover four. But if you do get a cover four look, and you want to have something and you don't just want to check down every time then i would recommend just using that slant route and you can smart route the x to get him to go a little bit deeper and now he's going to get kind of over the top of the cup for you just watch wait on it wait on it wait on it and then at that point once he gets over the top it's more of a speed thing so if i had a faster guy there it might get a little bit better but that's just something if you need something against cover four again i'm not saying this is what i would call if they're running cover four you don't run four verticals, right? You want to change it, how you're going to do things. So you might, you you could still run four verticals, but you might do something just a little different. For example, um, one of my favorite little things to do from this would be maybe slant hitch on that backside. Now you'll probably see that I might have a little bit easier of a ch opportunity here if I don't get bum rushed. And of course I did, um, got bum rushed there. But you, you, you can do little things to basically get this open. Obviously your underneath stuff's open. Um, if they're in cover four, they can't cover both hitches. So so what I mean by that is like, let's say you get this look where they're in cover four, but they, they can't cover, like they just can't cover both crossing routes. They can't cover both hitches. They can't do everything. So you see you get something like this and they're basically using in the middle of the field. Well, that's where this play goes really handy because I could do something like the first setup that I had out of this, which is just put a drag out there. And now my drag comes over the middle and now I've got about, you know, seven, 10 yards and I can work some of my cover four beaters in, which we're gonna share with you a little bit later on in the video series. So uh, anyways, this is a great play for cover two uh, and for cover three. It's also really good for palms coverage and really good for the blitz just because of the kind of the glitchiness of that out route. So I would encourage you to test this out. It's really, really good against palms. But anyways, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you wanna get my full gun empty trace stack five wide receiver kind of scheme, you can get that in my true fan membership. My true fan membership is just five bucks a month. So for five bucks, you get everything. You can cancel it at any time that you want. Um, it's through Patreon. And so like I said, there's a link in the description for you to be able to go get it. I post videos there or schemes for offense, for defense, and I also break down pro players schemes. So like what problem runs or what fancy runs or what J-Will runs. I try to break some of that stuff down every week. So if you want to get access to that, that's in the description.